Hello and welcome to my channel. What I have here is a 5 inch vice mounted brake. It, uh, it's got magnets on it so it mounts right into your um, vice. This is the 5 inch version. I got this one from Grizzly Industrial. I am not affiliated with Grizzly Industrial but I know that they have the 4, 5 and 6 inch. Um, and I'm sure you can get it from any other supplier on the internet. Uh, what I did with this is I used it to make myself a TIG torch holder. And this one here, it to me, it kind of looks like a hand. Hopefully it looks like that to you. If you're interested in uh, building one of these, that's what this video is going to be about. How I use this vice mounted brake to build a uh, TIG torch holder. So if you like that kind of stuff, also I've got another video. I've actually built a full size finger press brake to work in the Harbor Freight 20 ton. I'll have a link to my other video. It's just from scratch. I made the whole thing and it's the finger press brake, the heavy duty one. So if you really want to bend some bigger metal up to half inch. So um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, I hope you would consider subscribing to my channel. And if you're interested, I'm going to go ahead and start with the build. I hope you enjoy the video. I'm going to start off with the fingers first because those are the easiest. I'm using one half by one sixteenth wall tubing. Just bend it to whatever angle you want your fingers to be. And there's the three angles I chose. There they're just set on top of each other in the proximate area where I want them to sit. Now I've got them just held in place with the bar there and I'm just going to blast tack. It's going to be a temporary tax. That position there actually looks fine. I think I'm just going to leave it like that. Now for the index finger. The index finger of course has got to be angled and the part where the nail goes, where your fingernail is, that part's going to of course have to be a little bit longer because it's got to cradle the torch. And that's what I settled for right there. It's just a tack. I can uh, move that index finger up and down if I need to adjust it. For the thumb I'm using 3 quarter inch by 1 16th wall round tubing. And there I got the first bend made. Now I'm going to mark in a thumbnail. So that I'll have a reference, a visual reference of where the top thumbnail of this thumb is at. Now I'm going to put this thumb in to the vise. And I'm going to put it about a quarter of a turn to the right. Not quite a quarter of a turn, not quite 90 degrees, but almost a quarter of a turn to the right. And I'm going to go ahead and clamp it down, put a kink in there. And what I'm doing here is I'm trying to make the webbing. The webbing between the thumb and the index finger. So I'll crunch down, kink it, put the pipe up or put the tubing up a little bit, clamp down, kink it. What you're trying to do is get that U shape that's between the thumb and the index finger, what I'm called the webbing. I actually already made this piece, but after looking at it, I thought it might be hard to visualize how the thumb was made. And uh, so I'm, I went ahead and duplicated it. Now I'm just going to toss this piece away. And then for the rest of the video, I'll just use the original piece that I made. Okay, now that the U-shaped webbing is all completed, I'm going to work on that uh, tip of the thumb where the thumbnail is at. It's a little bit wide and needs to be a little proportional to the rest of the fingers. So I take the break out and I'm just going to work with the regular vice jaws. And I'm going to put the I'm going to put the thumb in the jaws finger uh, thumbnail up. And we're just going to narrow that up a little bit. So there I'm just going to clamp it down a little bit, get that thumb narrowed. And there it is, it's narrowed up just a little bit. 
And now we'll just cut a little bit off the bottom, right underneath where the fingernail would be. And we'll just take about a 45 off of there. And that should make it look a little more proportional to the rest of the half inch uh, fingers. Where the black marks are on this thumb, you're going to be cutting those areas out. And now I just got to figure out where I want to place this thumb in relation to the fingers. You can see there I very, very carefully notched out an area of the tubing on that thumb webbing. And then I'm just going to place it where I want to in relation to the fingers. And then I'll just do a final weld. Fingers to thumb, we're locked in. I'm going to mount mine to a post, but it can also be mounted to a magnet or a C-clamp or whatever you want to mount it to. Here's a 360 degree view with a torch mounted inside the holder. I'm not going to put any colored paint on it. I just sprayed some clear to keep it from rusting. And then now here's going to be a 360 degree view without the torch mounted inside the holder. That's it for the TikTorch holder. Thanks for watching.